night until the rain rolled in yesterday. It definitely looked and felt like winter in Maine and plenty of people were getting out on their snowmobiles. Matt Weber is an avid snowmobiler who has traveled much of the state on his sled. He sat down with us to talk about his new book, Making Tracks, How I Learned to Love Snowmobiling in Maine, and to tell us about the unconventional way he got into snowmobiling. I was a snowmaker at Sugarloaf. It's still my favorite job that I've ever had. And uh, among other pieces of equipment that snowmakers use, we use snowmobiles. I mean, you're up and down all the time on the mountain. That's yep. how you get around most of the time. Snow cats some of the time, but snowmobiles yep. really most of the time? Well, yeah, uh, particularly if you're doing uh, an uphill gun run, you would take a snowmobile and run up the trail or, or run to the valve house and turn a valve this way or that way. Uh, but that was my first time riding, was at Sugarloaf. And riding up a black diamond at Sugarloaf is <laughs> just as good as coming down one. That seems, seems terrifying to me personally. But you write about in the book kind of the fact that if you live in Maine in the wintertime and you don't have a winter sport, winter can be tough. Yeah, I, you know, it, it, Maine winters are cold and long and snowy, which is, uh, you know, I look at that as a blessing. I feel like you have to get out. You have to do something, whether it's skiing or snowshoeing. Um, I like snowmobiling. This isn't quite a how-to book for you about snowmobiling. What's the main goal? Who is this written for? Well, it's written for anyone that uh, has gone snowmobiling, loves snowmobiling, or anyone that hasn't and is interested in it, or anyone that might just be interested in all the different parts of Maine, because I've ridden all sorts of places in Maine and uh, every one of them is, is a lot of fun to go through. All right, right about now our viewers are thinking, all right, so Matt has a snowmobile right in the backyard. He goes snowmobiling all the time. He can do it whenever he wants. Not so much. Not so much because you live on Monhegan Island. That's true. Yep. 12 miles out to sea, not a large island. Is there any snowmobiling done out there at it all? It is not allowed on the island, and uh, <laughs> ATVs are not allowed on the island. So this, this is pretty rich. A guy writes a book on snowmobiling yeah. who lives in one of the few places in Maine yeah. where you can't snowmobile. Yeah, maybe the only place in Maine. <laughs> there was one snowmobile out there in, 19, in the late 70s, and they tore up the ice pond where the guys cut ice for the summer folks. And the old timers on the island got mad at the guy that brought the snowmobile out. So they put up a town ordinance that said, hey, no more. <laughs> and that's that. So what do you do? You live on the island. How do you get out and snowmobile? Yeah, so I'm a lobsterman as well. And I, you know, I travel back and forth to my own boat. And when it looks like we're going to have good riding up north or even in, in Liberty where the, the in-laws are, um, yeah, I hop in the boat, steam to the mainland, get in my truck, drive to Liberty and, and <laughs> hook onto the trailer if we're going to keep going north. And so it's, you know, it's a process. It, it sometimes takes most of a day to get anywhere, you know. The uh, labor of love, it sounds like. Yeah, well, it's a lot of fun. So it's always, almost always worth it. Uh, even even a bad trip is, is can still be fun. Uh, I'm, no doubt you've had some bad trips. Any that really stand out for just being, because the best travel stories are always where things go wrong. Sure. What's a snowmobile trip where things went wrong for you? Well, um, l let's see. The, something always happens yeah. on every trip. There's always some little snafu. My, my favorite trip is, is really the next one I'm going to take. I, you know, I've loved every place I've been. I've loved the people that I've met there. Um, and the the parts of Maine you get to see from a snowmobile, you don't get to see those really any other way. So, you know, when people ask me what's my favorite trip, but it's it's almost it's all of them, and but it's always the next trip, you know, the one I'm planning. You have a lot of stories in here. One of them being one trip you were the youngest guy in the group, and yeah. they kind of made fun of you because you brought a shovel, you brought like everything, and yeah. then it turned out to be you yeah, were right. They. Uh, <coughs> That was actually, if I had to pick a favorite trip, it might have been going to Steve's camp. Um, that was a lot of fun. It was the first time I had ever seen really, truly deep, deep snow. And, uh, it, and you know, in the book, it, I say it, it took us four hours to go six miles, and it was the most fun I've had in, in four hours in a long time. So, um, yeah, there's always, there's always some adventure, you know, when we, when we go riding, and uh, that's the fun of it.
there are people who are watching this interview right now who say, I've seen that guy before. And I don't know if they can read your hat or not, but you are one of the owners. You and your wife own the Monhegan Brewing Company, That's the true. tiny little brewery out yep. on this tiny island. How are things at, the, at that operation? Think, things are great. Uh, we, we bought a little food truck, and so now we've, uh, uh, all of our customers said, you got to have food. So we bought a little food truck, and uh, we're still making beer and, and having, having a great time doing it all summer long. At the end of the book, he's got some sort of beginner's tips for snowmobiling, and mm -hmm. one of them I know is a guide that you use in every aspect of your life, and yes. that is always bring way more warm clothing than you think you will need. Yes, although if you have to peel it off, it's tough to find a place on the snowmobile to True. put it. But, but you'd rather have deal with that issue than be cold. Exactly. Got exactly. it. Exactly.